AC generators at coal-fired power stations supply most of the electrical energy needed in our country. True. And then 9.1 says, state the energy conversion that takes place when this generator is in operation. So we know fully well that we have AC generators and DC generators, right? So the way I'm going to answer this question, I'm going to answer the question for an AC generator and then also answer the question uh, for, an, for a DC generator. Uh, so for an AC generator, the energy conversion is mechanical energy to electrical energy and the same is true for a dc generator right uh, all generators they convert mechanical energy to electrical energy then all motors they convert electrical energy to mechanical energy right and then a 9.2 says state one structural difference between an ac generator and a dc generator uh, this one is very tricky for an for an ac generator uh, we have slip rings right let me write it out slip rings and then for a dc generator we have a split ring and then for ac like we say in we have slip rings right uh, so make sure you find a way to differentiate uh, between the two ac slip rings and then they see split ring and then 9.3 draw a sketch graph of potential difference versus time for this ac generator clearly label the axis and indicate v max on the potential difference axis so what is an ac generator an ac generator produces alternating current right uh, but then what do we mean by alternating current the current changes direction every half cycle, right? So if you want to uh, plot a potential uh, versus time graph, then after this half cycle, you have to change the direction, right? So we go down. And then after this half cycle, we change direction again. And then so on and so on. That's what we essentially mean when we say a generator uh, is alternating the current, right? And then on the y-axis, uh, we will have Vmax, and then here we'll have minus uh, Vmax, right? So this is for an AC uh, generator. It produces alternating current. But then, like I said, we're answering for both, right? So for a DC generator, we producing a direct current, right? So after half a cycle, the current must not change the direction right the current only changes the direction if we have an ac generator right uh, so here if i just yeah put this axis here and then we sketch it after this half cycle right we're not changing the direction for a dc generator we still keep in the same direction so on so on and so on so on the uh x-axis we still have the time and then on the y uh, we have the potential uh, difference right and so on so that's what you sketch when we want uh, the potential versus time for an ac and for a dc uh, now let's do 9.4 so 9.4 uh, stories uh, they're saying that an electric appliance is rated 2000 watts right so we know that we measure power in watts so as soon as i see 2000 watts i'm writing p is equals to uh, 2000 watts and then it goes on to say that um yeah we also have another region which is uh 230 volts right and then it goes on to say that uh, the appliance is connected to an alternating current power source okay and then what we are asked to do is to calculate uh, the maximum current so we we're looking for i max right so here in electric circuits we know fully well that the power is equals to the voltage multiplied by uh, the current uh, but then when we're dealing with uh, an ac generator we have power average being equals to i rms multiplied by v rms 
in the information that we have uh, we have the power average and we have uh, the VRMS right so with this two we can find IRMS and then from IRMX we can then look for a way to find I max right so let me show you what i'm talking about so in place of power average we're substituting 2000 right and then in place of irmx that's what we're looking for so it remains as it is right and then in place of vrms uh we have 230 uh the conceptual physics problem solving is done now we're just solving the math right we're dividing both sides by 230 so irms will be equals to 2000 uh, divided by 230 uh, which is equals to 8.6957 amps right uh, so now we have the irms we can go ahead and try find the uh, imax right so what is the relationship between irms and imax uh, we know fully well that irms is equals to imax uh, divided by the square root of 2, right? So in place of IRMX, uh, we have 8.6957, um, right? Uh, being equals to IMAX uh, divided by uh, the square root of 2. Should be obvious what you're supposed to do now. To be obvious. So IMAX uh, will be equals to uh, cross multiplying, right? Uh, so we have that multiplied by uh, the square root of 2. Uh, which is equals to 12.30 uh, amps uh, and then 9.5 says uh, let's find the peak voltage so we're looking for vmax uh, for the output of the generator so what's the relationship between uh, vrms and uh, vmax right very similar to irms and imax right so we're saying that vrms will be equals to vmax divided by the square root of q uh, we have vrms uh, which is 230 now we're looking for vmax right uh, so vmax will be equals to 230 multiplied by uh, the square root of 2 and then if you do that arithmetic we get in 325.27 volts